Hello everyone, greetings to you all. I want you guys to pay attention and watch this video to the end and say what this lady is saying about our pastor OPM Chibozo in Portacourt. Just watch. I was already sweating. There was AC in the room, but I was sweating and I was scared at the same time. So I was like, I don't understand. But that you know there is somebody I want to get married to and you're aware. So why are you actually asking me to do something like this? Why will you ask me to do something like this? What will I tell him? He said you don't have to tell him. He doesn't have to know. You just keep it between us. I was like, uh-uh. Even if you're asking me to go into a relationship with you, what kind of relationship exactly? He said I should come on. I should stop talking like I'm a child. Why am I talking like I don't know what he... I said, no, I don't want to assume. You have to say what you want. So what kind of a relationship are you talking about? He said, okay, since I want him to say it, that he is actually looking for a sexual relationship. I said, that you're a pastor. Oh, I yes. By name? He said that you... Apostle Chibuzo. Okay, allegedly. Yes. Okay. He said that, after all, he's a man. He has flesh and blood running in his vein. You in my head. You send this to you. Yes. In my head, I was trying to comprehend like where this whole idea or whatever it was was coming from. So I told him, I said, what if I say no? What if I say no? I want to say no. I don't want to do it. He said, just know that you cannot say no. You know me already. I do not take no for an answer. In fact, he got angry at that moment and said, why do you even think you can say no? You can't say no. I cannot take no for an answer. Who, who, who do you even think you are to want to say no to me? People, you do know how many ladies that, that are at my back and calls, but it's just because I can't go to outside to start doing nonsense. I cannot do this because of who I am. This one, a general of herself, I'm bringing myself down to ask you for something like this, and you're saying no. Who do you think you are? You cannot say no. I was like, wow. But I still want to know what if I say no, what to come with it. He said, in that case, be ready to leave my house. And if you're leaving my house, don't think that I will let you go just like that. Because I know people will start asking you because people know I like you very well and that you are my daughter. So if you leave my house without you committing any crime, people will start asking questions. And I know you will talk. So if you leave my house, don't think I'll just let you go like that. To me, that was a threat. It was a threat right. to me. Allegedly. If it's what he said, it's a threat. Yes. Yes. So... I couldn't think, I don't know if I should say I thought about this whole thing. I could not think about it. I just told him that, please, that I wanted to sleep. This thing was, a, was on a Saturday evening. I told him, please, I needed to sleep. I've heard you, and I will think about it. I remember the month. Sorry? I remember the month and the, and the year. This was in 2019, between March and April. Okay. Yes. I left his room that day. He was calling me back, and I left his room. I went to my room where we do sleep with other children. I couldn't think. I don't know. Like, I did not know what to do at that point, and I was confused. No. I tried my best to avoid him throughout that day. So the next day, we all went to church. I was in church, and he was on the altar preaching. I wasn't seeing him. Everything oh. I was saying was the things he was saying into my head. Mm -hmm. They keep sounding. They keep coming back, but I was just on my own. I was just there. Nobody knew what I was going through. We came back to the house that Sunday. I tried my possible best to avoid him. And then on Monday, he sent for me. Oh, no. Mm. On Monday, mm. he sent for me. Mm. That the children came, ah, daddy, um, love, Auntie Lovett, that is calling you. I, what will I tell the children? If I tell them to go and tell him that I'm not coming, what will I be explaining to them? So I just stood up and I went to meet him. He was like, are you still thinking? I'm sure you've made up your mind about this whole thing that he doesn't know what I'm thinking about. After all, it's not like I'm a virgin. That's after all, that if I just agree, whatever I wanted, he will give me. Is it house? What is it that he cannot give me? Money. I'm planning for my wedding. He was going to give me the best wedding in Portacourt. He was going to do this. He started saying so many things. I was just looking at him. When he finished talking, I asked him, I said, I am aware that if I agree to this, it is going to be a hidden relationship, right? He said, yes. I said, fine. In this situation, what if, what if I get pregnant? Mm -hmm. He said, is he a child that he won't let me get pregnant? I said, it's not about being a child. Pregnancy can happen. So if you're saying you won't let me, it's the same thing that you have to use protection, whatever 
will happen if at all anything will happen. Mm -hmm. He said, but how do I expect him to go and get protection? What will he tell people he wants to use it for? Imagine if he's going outside. I said, if that is the case, I will buy it for you. I asked him for money. He gave me 10,000 naira cash that day. And then I went out. I went to everyday supermarkets. And I bought him a pack of um, Durex. Yes. Durex, that's Came back to the house. Yes. Came back to the house. Gave it to him. He was just looking at me and I left. So the next day, he was actually still asking. I have thought about the whole thing because... Honestly, it's not like I haven't been in a relationship. But someone like him, who he is, mm. the threats, mm. the fear. I don't. I was. I was not aware if he had a dirty lifestyle. I did not know before now. Mm. So I did not know what to be scared of. I didn't know. Like my head was full. So when people are asking, "Did he rape you?" So it wasn't a rape. So when I thought about this whole thing, I said, "Okay." I told him, "Fine. If this is what you want." No problem. But on one condition, I don't ever want to get pregnant. He said he has heard me. I should stop preaching. That, do I even see him like someone who will not be able to take care of his child? If anybody get pregnant for him? I said, okay, thank God you're the one saying this. So the relationship started. It wasn't once. It wasn't twice. He kept demanding for sex. So he had his way. Yes, he okay. had his way. And at each single time, he refuses to use the protection. Are you serious? And I made sure I always reminded him. I said, I ask you to use protection and you're always refusing. He said, I am in his house and I cannot call the shots. I can't tell him what to do in his house. So he called the shots and he decides what happened. And I kept telling him, don't get me pregnant and expect me to go for abortion because I will not. Yeah. I told him this. He said I should stop preaching. I said no problem. He kept having his way. Now, this whole thing started in March. When you say he kept having his way, what do, what do you mean by that? When I mean that, he kept demanding for sex. Was he? Yes. Did it happen? Did he sleep with you? Did he have sex with you? And it happened. Yes. He kept sleeping with me without what protection. Okay. Yes. So, hello everyone. So what are you guys saying about this lady? Do you think what she's saying is true? Before someone will come out and say something about pastor, at least you have your evidence at hand. This lady has made the biggest mistake of her life. She knows that she's getting married. She allowed a man of God to touch her. What are you people saying about this thing? Comment. Let me see your comment. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.